Well, good morning, everybody. It's boat building day, and uh, we got quite a bit done on the boat since I did the last video. Um, I'll give you a shot of it here in a minute, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the things I've been thinking about, and uh, I think I'm actually going to make a few changes. Um, one of the gentlemen on uh, YouTube, I think his name was Dave, said something to me about the use of red oak on the bottom of the boat. And uh, I got to thinking about that and uh, the way that the shipwright went ahead and uh, did that uh, test of white oak against red oak and how much more uh, red oak absorbs the water. And that combined with the idea of the bottom planking um, having to seal itself up has kind of led me to the idea of wanting to seal the bottom of the boat and not have it just naturally shore itself up and, and make itself watertight. So that's what I'm planning on doing at this point. And um, there's a couple of methods that I considered doing. Uh, one was fiberglass. The other was uh, just putting a few coats of epoxy resin uh, to encapsulate the entire bottom planking. And uh, I think I'm gonna go with the latter and I'm gonna fully encapsulate the bottom of the boat. Um, I've put the 5200 in the cracks where I thought it might need it. Uh, I've now sanded it all down. And so the next step here is gonna be to encapsulate uh, the entire bottom of the boat. I'm going to do that with uh, my two-part epoxy uh, resin. I'm going to roll it on and uh, first I'm going to make some uh, quick uh, you know little spot checks to make sure everything's good and smooth and everything like that um, and we'll get you a picture of what I'm going to start with here in a couple of minutes. Okay I've got my epoxy all mixed up here and I've mixed it with some wheat flour to thicken it up real good and the first thing I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down the seams right at the decking uh, to seal those up because that's the places where I couldn't get the 5200 in there and I'm gonna do that on all the sides on all the seams so I'm gonna go up and down and we'll get a shot of it when I'm done okay as you can see I've basically just gone along the bottom edge right at where the planking is and I've gone all the way down the one side of the uh, keel and I'm going to do that on each side of all the runners. And after I'm finished with that, then I'm going to use a roller with some clear epoxy and no additives, no wheat to it and I'm just going to roll out the rest of the, uh, the decking on the bottom here. And uh, after I'm, you know, good and dried, I will uh, come back, lightly sand it. And I think I'm going to do that three times. So that's the plan. Well, I just finished with the encapsulation. I got everything put together uh, pretty well. I wanted to give you guys a, a shot of what it looks like. And uh, I've got some new subscribers out there, and I hope that there's some people out there with some advice for me because, of course, I don't have all the answers and i um, looking to get this thing flipped over as soon as possible. But uh, since I've now encapsulated the bottom of the boat, um, thinking that since it's going to be trailered on a regular basis, that it shouldn't need uh, an anti-fouling bottom paint. Um, let me give you a shot of, of what I've got. So there's the picture of the boat after it's been coated with epoxy and I put a nice thick coat of epoxy on there. I didn't really think that it uh, needed a, that thick of a, a coat but it was cold in here. I'm in Montana and uh, my epoxy just did not warm up fast enough. Um, it did get mixed in real good but it was just a little thicker than it was when it was warmer outside and so that's what we're looking at with it. And so I'm thinking I'm going to put uh, two more coats on it, light sand in between, 
and that should give me a, a total encapsulation that I probably won't have to mess with. Um, if anybody has any uh, information on uh, whether I need to put bottom paint on this or not, I'd surely appreciate it. Hey, and until next week, thanks for watching. Have a good, uh, good week.